Good morning. Yesterday we talked about how to be the church we struggle together. And the scripture was Genesis 32, the story of Jacob struggling with God. We actually read Hosea's account from Hosea chapter 12 because the story of Jacob struggling with God meant a lot to God's people throughout history. For the same reason it should mean something for us that our God isn't a harsh, distant, angry God. Our God is a God who wants to meet us in the midst of where we're struggling and struggle with us. And if we need to wrestle with God and hang on to God until God blesses us, that's the story of Jacob wrestling with God, that, that we are invited to hang on to God until God blesses us. This last weekend I was mowing my yard and as I mowed, I realized one of the things I love about mowing grass is you can instantly see the difference. It, when you're done, it quickly looks so nice and good. And I realized, since I knew I'd be preaching on struggling and wrestling with God, that maybe one of the reasons we don't want to welcome God into our struggles and we don't trust God with our struggles is we don't see an immediate difference. Uh, maybe you've tried welcoming God into your struggle and nothing happened right away. Jacob wrestled physically with God all night. We wrestle with God and with some of our struggles for days and weeks and years and we don't see an instant difference. So this week, invite God into your struggles. Wrestle with God over them. And remember our daily prayer is in the words of Jacob in Genesis 32, I will not let go until you bless me. So whatever struggles you have, whether you have seen any difference or not, say to God every day this week, I will not let go until you bless me. And if even by the end of the week you have seen no difference, it's not because God's not there. It's because some things take a lot longer than others for us to see and know a difference.